Hi everyone. Happy Friday. I am so excited to be here and share with you my story. But isn't this group absolutely amazing? It has completely mind blown, mind blown. the engagement and the participation. Uh, it's just, it's been incredible. So I am so excited to share my story with you and introduce myself and share my heart and a little bit about how this has been life changing for me. And you'll find that as a common theme. This is life changing. And there is a reason why you are all here. And I couldn't be more thankful for that and to pour into you and share my story. My name is Nicole Gorgon and I am a Ruby ambassador with Plexus Worldwide. If you tuned in last night, you watched my best friend and college roommate, Ruth Wheat, dancing in her kitchen to I don't like it, I love it. And I have to say, before I get started, she was one of my biggest skeptics. And now she's dancing in her kitchen because she can't get enough of the pink drink. There is something to this, I'm telling you. But I just wanted to share my story. And I wanted to start by saying that I wanted to take you a step back to when I was old enough to start filling out my own paperwork at the doctor's office. So if you can become familiar, you know, with the wellness exams, the physicals, you get that one pager sheet with like 75 different boxes listed of ailments and illnesses and conditions. And you're supposed to check mark if you suffered from it, if your family member has suffered from it. And I was the girl that literally was checking every single box on that sheet. My family was unfortunately not blessed with good genetics at all. Uh, and that is something where as you grow older and learn what that means for you and the importance of that and the, it, it, it feels like you are out of control. Um, it feels like you, it's a deflated feeling, that it's scary, it's overwhelming because you feel like that your health is predetermined for you, that you know what type of medications that you're going to go on when you're older, that you know where your health is going to go. And so it's an out of control feeling. But I wanted to say, but what if someone told you that you had the chance to possibly change that predetermined destined genetic path that you're on? So that is what I wanted to share with you today. I have become a lab result junkie. And here is why. <laughs> a little bit about my background. I have been battling with genetically high cholesterol since I can remember. And when you're a kid and you're a teenager and even in your 20s and 30s, you hear the word cholesterol and you're like, oh, that's unfortunate for me. But it's scary because you don't feel bad from the outside, but you're terribly, terribly unhealthy from the inside. And here is a little bit about my story. Uh, my work did a biometric screening back in January 2014, and that was for insurance purposes. Um, I knew my what my results would be. I mean, I've always been on the lab results, like in the greater than sign for every possible thing, triglycerides, cholesterol, glucose level, everything. I didn't realize how high it had become. When my lab results came back, you know, they, I remember, it's one of those moments I remember that I was wearing, I remember that day at work, I was sitting there in front of my computer and all of a sudden it, it pops up and my cholesterol came back at 381. Yes, <laughs> it makes me, it makes me choked up just even saying it out loud, 381. Now, if you know anything about cholesterol numbers, you will know that the, desirable total cholesterol amount that they want for adults is less than 200. So I was absolutely off the charts, completely off the charts. I mean, I didn't even register on the charts when it came to my lab result reading. So after the numbers come in, you are supposed to enter the numbers back into your computer. And so when I entered the number 381 for my cholesterol, not only, I mean, here I am sitting like teary eyed, at my computer, like, what am I going to do? I, I am, this is terrible. So I enter that number into the computer and there's a big red banner that comes back that says, are you sure this is correct? Like a warning sign. So, I mean, so the computer even knew that this was crazy. So 
Once those results were plugged into my computer, I felt like my phone started ringing. I was assigned a health coach. I was assigned a cardiac specialist. Um, I, my doctor was contacted and I felt like this was all immediate. So I was completely overwhelmed and felt like I couldn't breathe. So my doctor was always, we had a really good relationship. So he even wanted to get down to the nitty gritty of like, you know cholesterol is bad, but you want to know, is it the bad kind that's fluffy that kind of flows through your arteries or is it the bad kind that's good? Um, or I'm sorry, the bad kind that's, that's good flows through your arteries. It's fluffy. The bad kind that's bad sticks and, and clumps and causes a lot of issues. Mine was the bad kind that was bad. So when my results came in, I started visiting medical professionals and I don't know how many times I could tell you that I heard the word, um, ticking time bomb, walking heart attack, um, heart disease. I did, I did not want to be a statistic and I felt like I was at a crossroads. When I went to my cardiac specialist that I was seeing, um, they said, you know, well, just, you know, change up your diet and exercise a little bit more, um, which was fine. I mean, I didn't eat the best, but I didn't feel like I was eating, you know, fried foods all the time and really high in cholesterol foods. So then I went back to my doctor and he basically told me, look, you could eat lettuce every day for the rest of your life, work out seven days a week, and this was not going to make a dent for you. And he did not feel comfortable putting me on a statin because of all the side effects, um, because of my age. And so he, I, I again, was getting conflicting information. So I wanted to, uh, tell you. So I watched my friend Jen on Facebook post for over a year and I was watching and I was watching and I was intrigued and I was really happy for her and happy for her success. But what really caught my eye was a lab result that she had put up and it was a before and an after. And so I thought, oh my gosh, how in the world is this pink powder going to mix with this water and somehow help balance and control my lipid level and the fat substance in your blood? Because my triglycerides, you guys, were off the charts as well. And that's the fatty substance that you have in your blood that you just don't want. I mean, you, that it, it, it's so extremely dangerous and unhealthy. Um, so, and outside of my cholesterol, I just wanted to give you a day in the life of also what I have been going through and feeling like, um, I would get up, I would, I would go to sleep. I would wake up exhausted. Anybody do that? Anybody go to sleep and you think you get a full night's sleep, but really you're tossing and turning and you wake up and you're exhausted and you feel like you haven't had one hour of sleep. So I wake up exhausted. I would go to the gas station. I would get one of those gigantic Diet Cokes. Like I had to have my Diet Coke to function, at least what I thought in my head, or those full throttle energy drinks. Does anybody drink one of those? I can't tell you how many I would have during the day. Scary right? Uh, so many chemicals. And I started getting to the point of feeling like I, I had to have that to function throughout the day. I'm a mom. I'm a wife. I am, I am, I'm busy. I have a full-time working job. How in the world I need to make it through the day. So sometimes I would be known to, I've done this before, not even scared to admit it. I go out in my car at lunch, set my alarm on my clock, take a nap. Seriously, at this time I was like 27 years old. I, I, I just couldn't, I was so tired all of the time. Um, I, have re, I had recently lost my dad, which going through grief and feeling just the stress that does to your body and takes a toll on your health, I was always in pain. I've always had digestive issues, but I was in pain when I ate anything. Um, I couldn't feel like I, I didn't feel comfortable in my own skin. I, 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 outside of being addicted to soda, I was getting colonoscopies and endoscopies all of the time and thankful that I would wake up in the recovery room and they wouldn't say that I, that they had found anything, but I would get written up another prescription medication or they would say, nope, everything looks fine. And I knew it wasn't fine. I knew it wasn't fine. So sometimes you have to be an advocate for your own health. So enter my friend, Jen, watching her on Facebook, I decided, what the heck? You know, there's 60 day money back guarantee. I'm not gonna tell anybody. I am not telling anybody. I'm a secret pink drinker. I was a secret pink drinker in the beginning. That's how my mindset was. I didn't understand and didn't know what the possibilities were with this, which is why never in a million years did I think I would be here sharing my story. So I started Plexus. And if any of you can be familiar with this, you know how it's New Year's Eve and you're like, okay, on Monday, I am going on a diet. 
I am going to exercise every single day. Um, this is happening all year long. It's happening. And then like two weeks you go in and then you're, you're on your A game and then something happens and life gets busy and then you just fall off. I thought Plexus was going to be that for me. I thought that I was, I was really excited to take my products. I was really excited to see what it could do for me. And what happened, exactly what happened. I let it phase out of my life slowly because I wasn't being consistent, I wasn't being true to myself, and I wasn't drinking the required amount of water. What I slowly realized as soon as I stopped and I was like, oh, okay, I just let this phase out like anything else that I do, I missed how I was feeling. I didn't realize how the energy I was feeling. I didn't realize that I was sleeping better. So I remember reaching back out to my friend Jen and I said, I'm doing this. I'm doing it. I'm committing. Let's do this. <laughs> so I am a lab result junkie. And I was remember sitting at my computer again, nine months in to my Plexus journey. And I have to tell you guys, life, literally life altering um, numbers. My, my cholesterol decreased from outside of the extreme dangerous level off the chart down into the high 200s, which I can't even tell you the last time that I was been. I remember um, when I had first started Plexus, I had taken the ingredient list to my doctor and he went through every ingredient and said, there is absolutely nothing in here that will hurt you. It's all, you know, plant-based, natural. If it works, that's great. If not, you know, no harm, no foul. I sent him my results and he was blown away. His words were, keep doing what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing. Those are most, those are some of the most beautiful words that I could ever tell you. Um, and I, I'm telling you, if this, this is something that you decide to start, be committed, be true to yourself, stay on track, because the only one that's going to be the roadblock is you. Um, and that's, I was the roadblock. And once I started and stayed committed, I'm telling you, things have absolutely magically changed because of these amazing products. Um, I have not seen my gastroenterologist in over two years. Um, his words were, I did have a follow-up because it had been so long since I had gotten any type of um, uh, colonoscopy. His words, and I have this message saved on my phone and it makes me feel like a big geek, <laughs> but it makes me really excited. But his words were, your esophagus looks beautiful. Looks beautiful. So I saved that message on my phone. I no longer am a visiting member of Walgreens all the time with the stomach prescription medications. You get your gut healthy and you balance out your body from the inside out and magic, beautiful things happen. I never thought that I had a blood sugar issue. I never thought. I thought it was related to um, certain illnesses and ailments. I never understood. I never understood that the crashes, the constant crashes, the dependency on caffeine, blood sugar stabilization, when you, when you find that and when you find something that happens naturally, all of the things start falling into place. Um, I have been soda free for over three years and this is something I was telling you, I was drinking multiple Diet Cokes, energy drinks. I didn't want to give that up. I loved the taste of soda. I loved my Diet Coke. Like it, it was something, a treat that I looked forward to every single day. And I'm telling you, it was, it was, I did not want it anymore. I, you can literally, I can literally taste the sugar. Um, it, 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 and it was slowly um, going away from my life. So a lot of the daily vices that I didn't even start this for, that's the beauty of these products. People start for so many different things. And why my story is, you know, cholesterol related, all of these other victories that, you know, no longer popping tums like Tic Tacs. Um, you know, giving my, getting my life back. I am the mom that I want to be. And I am the, the, the wife and the friend that I want to be. And I feel like that these products have really given my life back and given it away and, and brought me a purpose to where I never thought that I would be. Um, but just because you are, you have this DNA blueprint, you know, that, that you're given doesn't mean that you can't start paving your own road doesn't mean that you're determined and destined to go along the route of where you're supposed to be. My sweet mom was always like, oh gosh, I'm so sorry about the genes. And like she could control it. You know, it comes from levels deep. And when you're battling both sides of genetics from your mom and your dad, you're literally, you just feel like this huge weight is just sitting on you and there's nothing that you can do to escape it. 
So that number of 381 where my cholesterol was, was something, it was a day that changed my life because when you're fully desperate and when you feel like you have literally exhausted all efforts and you're at a crossroads, you want to find something. You want to get to the root of the cause. You don't want to just treat the symptoms. I mean, I could definitely have gone the route of what is expected, you know, to get onto another prescription medication and to manage these symptoms. But I feel like I have truly found the way to pave my own genetic path. And that's why I title this getting un unzipping out of those you know, terrible genes, because this is something that doesn't determine, it doesn't define who I am. And maybe down the road, as you know, my family continues, those genetics will change for them too. But it's just something I wanted to share. I hope this offers some hope, um, you know, some faith, give yourself some grace if this is something that you're dealing with. Um, there is a better way. There is a way that you can find to offer yourself to give that chance, but taking that chance and taking that leap is so worth it. And I understand I was a huge skeptic. Um, and now I think it's kind of funny, you know, when you are, when I'm going to family functions, I cannot stop talking about these products. I can't, I, I absolutely can't. It's something that is, is in me. It, it's given me my purpose. So I go to my family functions and, and you know, I, it's kind of a running joke now I'm at Thanksgiving. I'm like, if everybody will look to the left, there's going to be a screen that comes down. And, and I would like to talk to you a little bit about Plexus. But there's a difference. I am a completely different person than I was three years ago. I feel comfortable in my own skin, which is just a freedom in itself. I feel like I am able to offer hope to other people to where you get to that point where you're just so tired of being sick and tired. And I had hit my rock bottom. I was so tired of being sick and tired. This does not have to be the way that it is. Most of us think, and I was one of those people that this is just, this is just what it is about getting older. This is just what happens to your body after you have a baby. This is just what it means because my mom and dad have this. So I'm going to have it. No, it doesn't. You have every reason to be the advocate for your own health and to fight back and to fight against that DNA bl blueprint and deviate, you know, from your own road. So I hope that this helps offer some light at the end of your tunnel. And if you're thinking about taking a chance on these products, take that chance. Why not? You have nothing to lose and everything to gain. So I am so excited that I've been able to share my story um, and offer hope to you. And I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye, you guys. Thanks for listening and tuning in.